Welcome to this short instruction video on how to install OpenNetTone on a Raspberry Pi. Start by going to the download page. Here we can see the latest stable release and also the latest nightly build. The nightly build contains all the latest features and we try to keep it stable enough for daily use. So that's what we're going to install here. Normally you don't have to install OpenNetTone, you can just download it and run it. But for Raspberry Pi we provide a separate installation script which installs it as a service that runs in the background. Uh, for this installation demonstration we're going to install on the standard Raspberry Pi version 2 uh, with a fresh installed Raspbian operating system. We're just going to connect it through the network as you see here and uh, not through the uh, keyboard and video screen. So we connect to it using an SSH client. In this case I use PuTTY. So to connect to it I connect via the network name which is Raspberry Pi and open the connection. I log in as Pi and the password is Raspberry. I actually used a little trick here to be able to access it via the network name. Before this demo I installed a package called Samba. Samba is a Windows file share client for Raspberry Pi which also exposes the Raspberry Pi's network name so I can access it from Windows. To do this in installation we just follow the instructions on the install page. So I just copy the first part of the instructions like that and paste it in. The first part is just the download of the installation package which is a zip package so the next step is to unzip it. So we just copy the unzip commands from the instructions and paste it in and it unzips the installation package. It takes a couple of seconds to do that. So when it's unzipped we just go down to the installation directory and then make all the script files there executable. Now if we look here we see the installation script, an uninstallation script and an upgrade script. And what we're going to use here is of course the installation script. And also here in this instructions we show how to run that. So I just have to go back to the installation page and copy the instructions from there. And as you see I do a sudo which means I run it as root which is necessary to do the installation. So the installation will actually copy out the files to the correct locations in the Linux file system and install Open at Home as a service. As you see here the script also prints out what is the actual web address of the GUI. So we just have to copy that and then paste that into a browser and then we are in at the user interface. And here you see the plan page and the rooms page. So the server is running. Now when we've done the installation we can actually remove all the downloaded files so we can clean up a bit. So I start by removing the installation directory and yeah, the zip file I also can remove the, the zip file. So now that's a bit more tidy. Uh, with the installation we also get a nethome command. So you see here what options are available. That can be used to start and to stop the installation or the service. So to stop it we just type sudo nethome stop and that will actually stop the service. We see if we refresh the page it's no longer online. And then to start it again it's similar sudo nethome start then the server starts. We can go back and look at that. Now we were a bit fast so now we get into the boot up GUI of the server. This is showing while it's starting up before it's started the real GUI. So now it's starting up and now we have the server running again. So this is the basic command you need to start and stop the, the server. Uh, the command also provides another feature which is 
a quick command to upgrade to the latest nightly build. So the command for that is sudo upgrade nightly. And what that does is sort of a scripted version of what we've already done. It downloads the latest nightly build, stops the server and upgrades it to that version. So that's an easy way of keeping your installation up to date when it when new features come out in the in the nightly build. So there the upgrade is complete and then I can go back to the GUI and see that it has started there. And again we were a bit fast so it's in the boot up GUI. Start in the GUI and there we have the, the normal. So that basically concludes installation of Open Net Home on a Raspberry Pi as a service. If you have more questions or more input, you can just go to the to the forum page where you can see a lot of questions asked and answers. Thank you.